All right, so first things first, I find the images that I want to use. In this case, I found all the geckos on Instagram. And I have Google Photos uh, on my phone and on the iPad. So um, I download them, I screenshot them to my phone, and then I open Google Photos on here. So the images that I save on my phone will show up here because everything is synced. But I have to take these images and then uh, select them and then download them or save them to the device. And once they're saved to the device, then I can go into Procreate and do Add Photos, and they will show up here. Um, so to start, let's see. Let's start with... All right, we'll start with this one. Ross Park Zoo, shout out. All right. So the first thing is I just move this so I can remember later, so I have their name, so I can give them the proper credit. So I'll just move that here. And then I'll just clean up the workspace a little bit. Cut and paste. All right, so I have my image on one layer, and then I'm going to draw on the layer beneath that. All right, and I'm just using a regular um, hard airbrush that I have sort of just to, to simulate a pencil. Nothing too crazy, just a stock brush that I renamed. All right, so... So these guys kind of have triangular heads, sort of like, oops. The heads are sort of like that. So that's pretty much how I start my, that's pretty much how I start my sketch. I just look for I just look for the shapes. So in this one, make this bigger. So in this one, I usually I'll, I usually start with the head, and the head shape is pretty much like this, and that's the shape that I'll pretty much sketch. Body. So it's sort of like that. So that's pretty much what I'm going to sketch. So here's my triangle. All right, this is eyes come off here. This other eyes about here. Might turn these guys into dragons later because never, never draw dragons too much. But to me, when I look at these geckos, 
they pretty much just look like dragons. Like I'm, I'm quite sure that a dragon is just this, but huge with wings. All right, so here's my basic triangle for the head, but I notice there's a little things like like his head arcs and is pretty smooth. Mine is not, so I'll just use the liquify because you gotta use the tools you have, right? So I just kind of stretch that out a little bit. Not too much, but if you're a perfectionist like I am, there's certain things that you just want to look right. And especially the outline of design, you want it to look pretty good. All right, I feel like his eye, mine is tilted a little. His eye is tilted a little more up. Okay. All right. So there's not that much space between here and his bottom lip, or his top lip. All right, then his skin kind of goes like that. Too strong there. And I do clean up my sketches just to keep everything kind of in order. Because sometimes I can get a little carried away. And if I notice things as I'm going, like how how his head is tilted, I'll sort of just match it a little bit to match the photo. Because if I start if I start drawing and his head is tilted downwards, then if I match everything else, then his head will be out of place. And you can change all that stuff later or, or you know when you're sketching, but for now I just like to get a good a good solid base of what he looks like without any of the stuff that I add to it. You can add stuff later, but I like to have a good base to start from. All right. Let's see here. And also when I sketch, I don't Sometimes I, I do a hard sketch, like if I was just going to do him as a sketch. Um, but sometimes I guess I switch back and forth. Sometimes I will do kind of the, you know, kind of the sketching like this. I guess that would be more of a gesture type sketch. It comes in helpful sometimes, but... Then other times I get kind of close and I I kind of work it out like I guess a little bit of both is kind of healthy. You have to kind of be confident with your lines. Okay, so his arm is right is right below this thing, so All right, now their hands are always so funny. So I'm gonna... Okay, so, so his body goes like this. So I do need some space here because it looks like, let's see. There's another line here that comes off. Let's 
Hello. That's the uh, Brita sink filter. It's I'm not using the bathroom. If that, I don't know if it gets picked up on microphone, but just to clarify, I don't want to become a meme peeing drawing guy. I guess I just brought that into existence. All right, so we'll save the arms for later. Um, let's see, in the photo, this arm is a little lower, but we'll make it a little lower. But we'll use our liquify. We'll just kind of bring it down a little bit. All right, so where are we at? So we have this kind of blends into So I might need a little more space over here. Let's we'll see. Let me make this a little smaller. I don't want to cover anything too much so you guys will be able to see. All right, so. So right off the bat, his arc comes from his head in the photo. And it seems like my tail is a little... Make sure you're on the right layer. Okay. Just needs a little more body here. See, sometimes when I draw other parts, I kind of get a little constrained. So, sometimes you have to kind of go with your own flow. Like, if I, it's like I put the tail there, and I don't want to have to force, you know, that part to fit in that area. You know, don't be afraid to move everything around and really give yourself the space you need. Okay, so, so his neck kind of comes over, and he has a nice flat... Kind of like a crocodile. I need to get rid of this. Because his tail is really fat in the back, so that that sketch that I had that I did before is sort of messing me up. So just get rid of it. Don't don't worry about. You know, sometimes like you you, you draw something and you kind of fall in love with it and you don't want to get rid of it and do it again or do it a different way. Just get rid of it and do it a different way. And if that if if it doesn't work out, then erase it and do it again. And you do it again and do it again and do it again until it looks right. That's the only way that it'll work out in the end because if it looks bad it'll always look bad no matter what you try to do afterwards um, it'll always look it'll always look bad okay so there's some perspective here so this goes so we have the line going down the back You gotta kind of follow that perspective. Sometimes it gets a little tricky, but I see here that this line comes over, which gives it gives it that nice space. Okay, now all right, let me start. Let me start up here. So over the arm, the body goes over the arm like this, and then the body comes around and sort of follows 
follows like that. The other leg would be here, so this is this area. Okay, so let's just cordon off the body from the tail. So the leg would be here. Now the leg... There we go. It's not too big compared to the other ones. You want to keep it somewhat proportional, proportionate. All right, so it looks like I have a little uh, little calf muscle kind of thing. Let's see. Okay, so it's not really, so his leg is sort of, looks like they sort of have a kind of a little pear shape here. But it's important that, let's see. So this comes here. And then this little knee would be here, and that would bend. Alright, so... It's a little, a little too aggressive there. Alright, that's good for now. We can figure his little leggy out later. Alright, so we're going to follow these contours. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay. So we follow these contours, and they have this big tail. So this comes out, and let's just get that round. So the back of his tail comes here, which may seem like I might have to sh shrink that down. But let's see. Let's, let's really stretch out the arc. Alright, so, so all this looks like it gets a little smaller here. Clean this up a little bit. I like my sketchy, I like my, my sketchies. <laughs> I like my sketches as messy as anyone else, but not just for the sake of them being messy. Like, they're messy because you're, like, working things out, but if it's just going to be a hindrance, then it doesn't matter. Then I don't... I don't want a messy if it's just going to... if it's not for a, an efficient way. You know, I, I like the sketchy look, but you have to actually work out these issues. Okay, so for this tail... It looks like, so if we, bought a, if we follow his body line, I'm just going to put this underneath. So if we follow his body line, it goes here. So this is all like a plane right here. See all that? That's all one plane. So that's what I want to, uh, that looks kind of cool actually. All right, so that's what I want to do in mine. I kind of gave him a fat body. He's a little too... He's a little fat, right? Isn't he a little fat? Um, so maybe... I don't know what this line is. Let's, let's get rid of that line. And let's just keep him... That's much better. I don't know why I gave him such a wide body. But he's looking a lot more svelte right now. Okay. Alright, so we're looking good here. But this tail, it's sort of like... It's sort of bulbous. So this needs a little work. Um, let's see, what can I do? Firstly, this is too much space here. So I'm going to really really rein that in all right so and 
also this line can be a little lower because this is only this back part is only a little bit above his thigh so do that and I'll do the back part of it and it sort of comes in here which kind of helps with that bulbous look all right it's starting to look a little better now Like these flowy, sweeping, sweeping lines. All right, that's looking a little better. Um, his leg is looking a little big, especially because it's the back leg, so it wouldn't quite be. You know, it's further back, so you don't want anything that's further back is most likely going to be smaller. Just up a little bit. All right. All right, so I want to get that plane that bottom plane that we did before. So we have that plane. This is still off. For some reason this is still... Maybe I need to... That looks kinda cool. Still in a race. Alright. It's looking a little better. It's still not as big. Maybe I need more space. It can also get pushed around by the edges of the frame. Maybe I just need to make everything smaller. Yeah, sometimes I can... Sometimes the frame sort of bullies me around, so I'm going to make everything smaller. Alright. So, comparatively... Okay, I, I think the, the sizes are looking pretty good here. I think... Am I happy with them? Let's get rid of these lines. I'll make sure I'm gonna... All right. Tail is still a little weird. Let's see. So. Do some pretty loops. See if we can't work this out. All right, so we kind of do sort of like an alligator. They have that ridge along the back. It's really good with like helping frame this. And this is where sometimes I kind of stretch things and sort of 
you know, sometimes you might have to make it a little bigger just to kind of just to kind of make it come true on the on the paper. Like you you do want to match everything, but sometimes like a drawing and the reference it's just you have to kind of cheat things to make it look good on on paper. Not everything is going to be perfect. But uh you know, the more you kind of do it, the more you kind of see, mm, I have to make this bigger because what I'm drawing is just different than this photo, the way that it's taken. And also, it's a drawing, so you want it to be beautiful. So you want to have a nice outline. I feel like his head can be a bit bigger here. So, especially if he's going to eventually be a dragon. I'm going to give him a bigger head. Does that look right? Mm. I feel like he has a, I feel like he's rounder here. So let's have these round things here so I'm gonna like stretch that out to really make them look round I don't know if I want them to be friendly or if I want them to be mean I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right, so. His nose, my nose is a little, his has a little bit of a, whoops. I hate when I do that. Sometimes I'm in a race and I forget. See, does that look better? Sometimes his nose sort of sort of comes out. So now that you have your basic sketch, don't be afraid to like really make some like hard lines you know kind of like be confident in what you're drawing once you have that loose sketch you know then you can kind of solidify everything Still clean up the sketch a little bit. I like to keep a, a neat house. I feel like this area is a little small, so I'm just going to use whoops. I'm just going to use liquify. I'm going to sort of. All right. So apparently I have some lines that are. When I find that I have some lines, like sometimes I draw on this layer by accident, so I'm just going to combine them. And I'm going to take him, I'm going to cut and paste. All right, so that way I have all my lines together. So I don't want to be erasing or be moving something, and then some of the lines don't move. Um, no, I don't like that. That looks fine. I wonder if his nose might be a little stubbier. Let's see. That looks good. All right. 
so his arm oops what did I do did I hit clone all right so this can be a little bigger because it is the closest thing to us pretty much so this I'm just trying to lining up with that so I see that this goes down here so that would be nice whoops I'm gonna race again so that would be nice and he has Okay, so he still was a little thin, but he just needed a little more body on the bottom and not the top. I think that looks a little better. Or is it too much? We'll use our old trusty friend Liquify. And we'll, we can just sort of shrink that up a little bit if it looks like it's too much. There we go. All right. Hands are a struggle, especially for geckos, because they have these little, like, flimsy little looking fingers. Alright, we're still recording. Good. Okay, so, how do I get these fingers going and feet alright so his little f look at these look at that how are you supposed to make that beautiful okay so I'm gonna do a shape like this because it's flat. Because it's on it's on a plane. So I'm gonna do these little I doesn't really have a big one here. This, are, this would almost be like our palms. So just so I have a kind of frame of reference of their palms and how they're flattened out. Alright, so. I just locked it so I don't accidentally write on that layer. Okay, so let's see here. So this one is sort of looks almost like a like a talon. And I don't know if that's gonna look good or not. taking a liberty to sort of make them a little more human-like. Like I'm still going to put his little nails on, but you know for us, like we're used to, we're kind of used to hands looking a certain way, so Another thing you can do is do the hands on a different layer, that way you don't have to keep erasing if you don't like them. It's a little big. So I'll just make it smaller. Kind of matches, looks a little weird, but that's what it's that's what his hands look like, so. But when I do the dragon, I might change it. And they don't really have like a thumb type situation. It's almost like looks like a starfish. And they do look like they flatten out a little bit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. And this is complete liberty. To kind of 
to make his hands look better than they look because if I match that it would just look it would look weird I mean even in real life they look weird so all right let me finish this up so I can so we can move on to bigger and better things So for these, I try not to really think about them too much. That finger might be a little long. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that digit. It's actually not too bad. This leg looks a little funny, but it looks funny in real life, I guess. Alright, so... Pretty happy with those feet. Usually they take me forever. This wasn't too bad. That one... This one is kind of bugging me, so... And this is, this kind of drawing kind of reminds me of when I was in art class. We used to have to do, we did like model drawing. I went to, I went to SVA and I graduated a long time ago, but we used to, we used to do um, figure drawing and we used to do, you know, a model would come in and we would sketch and sometimes they would move every 15 seconds they would move. So we'd have to get the, as much as we could done in those 15 seconds and then she or he would pose a different pose, and we'd have to get as much as we could in those 15 seconds. But it sort of gets you to kind of stay out of like, you don't want to be like this. Trying to like draw the perfect thing. Like you want to kind of eventually train yourself to kind of get out of that and do like bigger movements. It helps a lot, and especially at things like feet. For some reason, like these toes, like if I was really trying to like go and like get it, but it looks kind of good if you just like, if you do it faster, you kind of get a little more personality out of it. All right, so now for the eyes, I'm just going to do it another another layer because I know I'm going to do a million and one different eyes. I stick to the circles. Alright, and my thing is I just like to I like to do the plane around the eye. Like I always do, like you'll see in my artwork, I always do that. Alright, so they have huge black eyes. And of course you can do whatever whatever kind of eye you want. Do I want to make them Looking forward. Or. Looking back here and the eyes all black. Or you can just do it like. How it is in the photo. That's my little thing that I find. I like making their little their little tip. Or you can do it like you do it in the photo. Give him his little nose. Um, I use another lighter airbrush. See, it's kind of like sort of light, painterly. I like to do, so he has all these marks on him, so I'll just kind of a 
use the brush and don't get too crazy you just kind of look of you know see where he has these little marks at and just kind of have fun with it and you kind of follow those planes like if you notice a pattern then you can do it a little faster you can just get that pattern in there and you have some darker ones down there and they're all over the side And he also has these ridges here, so make this a little fatter, and I'll just do some ridges. And see how this plane right here goes across? I do the ridges across to sort of give it that look. These go down, so I do the ridges down. A lot of times you want to shade and do stuff like that in the direction that the skin is going. So like for example, if I'm doing something here, it's going to go over like that. If I'm doing something there, it, it follows. And now, this back is darker, because it's in the back, number one. It's darker here, this shadow. This gives his feet a little dark, a little darkness. brings that plane out right here and as you can see underneath like this it's very dark this leg is dark top of his body is darker than the bottom so I'm gonna give the whole top part of his body a little once over do a little bit lighter all right and can come up just don't get in the camera all right so and then my signature I just take the paintbrush I used to draw in all this color but actually for some reason I like drawing in black And there you go. That's our gecko. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe because we're going to be drawing every day. All right. See you in the next one. I gotta try to smile more. See you in the next one.